Part 2 Audience Expectations and Buy-In Have you ever watched a show because you thought the characters would be cool to hang out with? Like on Friends, Melrose Place, Sex in the City, or Entourage? Have you ever watched television and been intrigued by a company or product featured on a show like Eye on the Bay or Good Morning America or Oprah? Have you ever noticed how companies and products gain instant credibility? You need to know your target audience, their demographics, things on paper, race, gender, age, economic status, where they live, and their psychographics, how they behave, religion, hobbies, political beliefs, and other non-quantifiable behaviors. But pretty much every audience has a certain expectation in mind when it comes to video, especially Western audiences. When the audience sees a video, they expect to see a story, not just a talking head. Max Hedrum and Simone may have featured a talking head, but only as part of a larger story that had all the traditional Hollywood classical elements to it. What's wrong with talking heads, you may ask? Well, nothing if your customers are into 80s rock music. But if you're trying to launch an effective online marketing campaign, you need to get with the current program. Let me ask you a question. Do you enjoy watching movies with a good story? If you do, you're part of the majority of audiences because most people like to be entertained with a story and follow the experiences of sympathetic characters. I suggest that our shared love of good story began when we were children and our parents would persuade us to go to bed with the promise of a bedtime story. Our shared love of story has continued into adulthood, as evidenced by the news programs luring people to tune into their broadcast by announcing, our top story tonight is... So doesn't it make sense that if you want people to tune into your message, a talking head alone won't get the job done? Max Hedra may have had his moment in the spotlight back in the 1980s, along with New Coke, but neither one of them lasted very long because they failed to take the little steps that would have made a big difference in their efforts to win over their audiences. I just can't stress upon you enough the importance of audience expectations. Let me ask you some questions that reflect upon your own expectations as a consumer. Fill in the blanks with either hot or cold. Let's say it's a hot day and you decide to meet a buddy at a sports bar to watch a game and enjoy a nice blank beer. Or maybe it's a rainy day and you decide to curl up with a good book and enjoy a nice blank cup of tea. Or let's say you had a long day and you decide to relax in a nice blank bath. How would you feel if instead of being served cold beer, you were served a warm one. You received a lukewarm cup of tea instead of a hot cup of tea. Or slid into a frigid bath instead of a nice hot bath. Yikes. You wouldn't be very happy because none of the scenarios would meet your expectations. Allow me to share a story with you. A movie came out in the mid-1990s called Now and Then. It was a coming-of-age film starring Cloris Leachman Demi Moore, Rosie O'Donnell, and Christina Ricci. In one scene, Leachman wanted to get a rise out of the girls, so the comedian and her decided to pull a practical joke. In an effort to make the girls look uncomfortable, she put salt in some lemonade instead of sugar and served it up to the unsuspecting girls. During the take, they innocently took a sip expecting a pleasant, familiar flavor, but instead they ended up with a mouthful of bitter, salty lemonade. Only one girl was able to play it off. The others reacted as one would imagine, with disgust and sour pusses on their face. Yuck! So what that means to you is that just like when the girls took a sip of lemonade and expected to taste a tangy citrus beverage, when a viewer turns in to watch your video, she or he expects to see something like other videos or basically mini-movies. The point? When viewers tune in to watch your video, they expect to see something like other videos with a familiar style. And just as you can understand how someone could be disappointed by failed expectations, you can anticipate the likely reaction and achieve a predictable response with the right storytelling strategies. I would suggest that employing Hollywood classical cinema style can be your number one strategy to win over your audience and get them to come and stay. Next, I will share with you how to get a positive and predictable response. 